Cambodia is a Southeast Asian gem. It fascinates with its ancient Angkor temples, vibrant markets, and beautiful landscapes. From the interesting history of Angkor what to the warm hospitality of its people, Cambodia is a mixture of traditions and natural wonders. And today the Continental Drifter presents 8 cities you should visit while traveling Cambodia. But before we jump into the video, do subscribe to our YouTube channel for such videos. 1. Phnom Penh Phnom Penh is the capital city of Cambodia. It's an interesting city, with ornate palaces and temples to crowded markets and riverside shrines. You can enjoy a tuk-tuk ride while experiencing this great capital city. The royal palace is a majestic symbol of the nation's heritage. Its ornate Khmer architecture, gilded spires, and complicated details represent royalty. It's open to visitors from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. The entrance fee is currently $10. The Silver Pagoda is situated within the Royal Palace Complex. It houses a remarkable collection of Buddha statues and is a witness to Cambodia's artistic heritage. The admission fee is $3. The National Museum of Cambodia is an architectural gem. It provides an insightful journey into the Khmer civilization. The admission fee is $10. You can enjoy the breathtaking celebration of Cambodia's music and dance tradition by paying $15. Sisawath Quay lines the Mekong River. The riverside shrine offers picturesque views, from traditional wooden boats to modern architecture. Cafes, markets, and cultural spaces make it a dynamic hub. River Cruise is also available here, and the price varies from $5 to $15 and is a great value. The Russian market in Phnom Penh is an emporium of sights and sounds. It's a treasure trove of Cambodian handicrafts, clothing, jewelry, and souvenirs and offers an outstanding shopping experience. A must is a visit to the Central Market in Phnom Penh. It's an architectural marvel and shopping haven. Its iconic dome shelters a marketplace where jewelry, textiles, electronics, produce, fresh seafood, small restaurants, and local goods abound. Koh Dok is a serene escape from Phnom Penh. Known as Silk Island, it preserves traditional silk weaving and other cottage industries beautiful landscapes, Mekong River views, and a glimpse into local life make Cambodia a peaceful retreat where its cultural heritage flourishes. From Koh Dok, you can visit Koh Ok Nati, another island, and there you can enjoy the scenic environment. 2. Siem Reap Siem Reap is a gateway to Angkor's ancient wonders. Temples, culture, and the enchanting Tunnel Sap Lake converge in this fascinating destination. Angkor what is the world's largest religious monument? Its intricate Khmer architecture and majestic towers rise from its lush, tropical surroundings. It echoes a glorious past that speaks of spirituality, artistic mastery, and the enduring legacy of the Khmer Empire, and the temples remain open to visitors from 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., but I suggest getting there early in the morning for sunrise. The admission fee is $37. Bayon Temple, nestled within Angkor Thom, captivates with its mysterious stone faces looking in all directions. It's an architectural masterpiece that reflects the spiritual and artistic royalty of the ancient Khmer civilization. Ta Prom is nestled in Angkor's embrace and marvels visitors with nature's reclamation of its ancient ruins. Tree roots interweave with stone, creating a beautiful tableau that captures Cambodia's timeless attraction. Cambodian cultural village showcases traditional villages, performances, an art and offers an immersive experience celebrating Cambodia's rich cultural heritage. It remains open from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., and the admission fee is $15. Phnom Kulin National Park is a sacred site near Siem Reap. It hides ancient treasures and natural beauty. Waterfalls and carvings make it a serene and historically significant sanctuary. The admission fee is $20. As the road is one way, you must reach there within 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Tunnel Sap is Southeast Asia's largest freshwater lake. It sustains Cambodia's heartland. Its ever-changing water levels and floating villages shape a unique ecosystem. Earlier in the day is the best time to visit the lake. You can hire a boat for a visit, which can cost you $20 to $150. Pub Street is situated at the heart of Siem Reap. It's lined with vibrant bars, restaurants, and night markets. It's a crowded hub where travelers unwind, savor cuisine, blow off some steam and connect. Evening is the perfect time to visit Pub Street. 3. Batambang 
Batambang is Cambodia's artistic soul. It exudes provincial charm. Colonial architecture and artistic communities offer an authentic escape into Cambodian culture and creativity. Batambang Bamboo Train is a unique adventure. Riding on makeshift platforms along a rickety track offers a thrilling journey. The ride can cost you around $5 to $6. Wadak Phnom is a cultural gem. Ancient ruins, vibrant pagodas, and a serene Buddha statue offer insight into Cambodia's spiritual heritage against the historical backdrop. The admission fee is $2. Nearby what sample includes the Killing Cave which stands as a somber memorial. It's a place of remembrance and reflection, echoing the Khmer Rouge's legacy. It also has a bat cave that is a natural wonder that houses millions of bats that emerge at dusk each evening to feed in the local rice paddies. Witnessing their mesmerizing flight is truly unforgettable, highlighting the mysteries of Cambodia's countryside. 4. Kampong Cham Kampong Cham is a riverside province. Ancient temples, serene landscapes, and the Mekong River's presence offer a glimpse into Cambodia's rural heart and cultural heritage. Koh Pain is situated near Kampong Cham and is connected by bamboo bridges. The island is glorified with traditional villages and timeless landscapes that invite exploration and cultural immersion. Wat Noker is situated in Kampong Cham. A contemporary pagoda is involved with an ancient temple. It summarizes Cambodia's ongoing spiritual journey while honoring its historical roots. The admission fee is $2. Phnom Sre and Phnom Pros mean Woman Hill and Man Hill, respectively. It's situated near Kampong Cham. Serene pagodas and beautiful landscapes invite meditation while showcasing Cambodia's natural and cultural diversity. 5. Krati. Krati resonates with its peaceful charm. Idyllic riverfront, rare Irrawaddy dolphins, and French colonial architecture converge, offering a serene escape that embodies Cambodia's understated beauty. Koh Trong is an island in Krati. Beautiful landscapes, traditional villages, and eco-friendly tourism harmonize, showcasing Cambodia's rural authenticity. It also shows Cambodia's natural allure along the Mekong River. Phnom Sambok Pagoda offers spiritual sanctuary. Perched atop a hill, it blends serene surroundings with ornate architecture. It invites self-knowledge and connection to Cambodia's religious heritage. Dolphin kayaking adventure in Krati offers an intimate encounter. Paddling along the Mekong River unveils the beauty of Cambodia's landscape and the enchanting presence of Irrawaddy dolphins. A half-day dolphin trip will cost you $50, and the full-day trip will cost $70. 6. Kep Kep is Cambodia's coastal gem. Beautiful beaches, French colonial architecture, and Kep National Park create an idyllic retreat. Kep Beach is a haven on Cambodia's coast. Golden sands, swaying palms, and azure waters converge, offering a peaceful escape that captures the essence of relaxation and beauty. The short 20-minute boat ride from Kep to Rustic Rabbit Island, also known as Koh Tunse, offers tropical bliss. Untamed beaches, simple thatched bungalows, and a laid-back atmosphere transport visitors to a secluded paradise that epitomizes Cambodia's coastal charm. 7. Kampot Kampot is situated along Cambodia's southern coast and fascinates with its riverside charm. French colonial architecture, pepper plantations, and Bakker Mountains allure harmonize, creating an idyllic blend of history and nature. Bakker National Park is a mystic retreat. Ancient rainforests, eerie abandoned buildings, and cool mountain air envelop visitors in Cambodia's mysterious wilderness and colonial legacy. What Sampov Pram is located atop Bakar Mountain. Its pagodas and caves reveal Cambodia's religious devotion while granting panoramic views that stretch from coast to forest. Papakville Waterfall is a natural gem. Cascading amidst lush greenery, its sober beauty and relaxed ambience offer a refreshing escape that captures Cambodia's natural charm. 8. Sihanoukville Sihanoukville is a coastal city in Cambodia, situated along the Gulf of Thailand. This bustling city offers various attractions catering to diverse interests. Bamboo Island and Koh Rong are must-visit destinations. Bamboo Island's pristine beaches and crystal-clear waters make it a haven for snorkelers and beach lovers. Koh Rong, on the other hand, 
boasts a vibrant nightlife scene along with stretches of inviting coastline. Diving and snorkeling enthusiasts will find a paradise beneath the waves, with diverse marine life and vibrant coral reefs waiting to be explored. Atras Market is a vibrant hub of culture and commerce. It offers local crafts, delicious street food, and a lively atmosphere. Sihanoukville's casinos offer thrilling entertainment. Amidst the coastal beauty, these gaming hubs cater to those seeking excitement and luck, adding a vibrant touch to the city's allure. As Cambodia continues to develop and grow, it seeks to balance preserving its traditions and embracing progress. The fascination of its ancient sites, the kindness of its people, and the addition of its historical narrative are just right for tourists. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to check out the other ones here on the channel, and especially in my Best Travel Tips playlist. Next, share it with others and give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're in need of a great gift that helps support the channel, you can look for any of my pandemic, travel, photography, or continental drifter designs at my online stores. Finally, be sure to check out my latest physical books on Amazon. They make great gifts. And head on over to the continentaldrifter.co website for more travel and photography tips and to get your free download. And remember, drifters, life's too short not to travel.